bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Afawax. Relax, will you? Hello, Afawax. We have a new booklet. Booklet number four. Sorry, I pointed to it with my finger. That's entirely wrong. Ooh. Book number four. Uh, and bag number eight. So let's get Nolin. Now the person. Righty ho. Off we go. Uh, let's go to the Google Eyes. Thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then I did not she was from Canada. It's no William B. This sprouts a, a delicious, eh? Uh, I'll have a sprout croissant, please, little Sue. Wow, look at the train go. Yeah, yeah, look at the train go. I, it, I, I won't lie, I actually uh, filmed myself getting it very, 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 very badly wrong. And I cut that out because I, I thought it would, be, it would be too depressing for you to watch. Um, but basically, I couldn't for the life of me. Uh, work out how to make the uh, the little unit, the power unit, talk to my smartphone. Um, so uh, consider yourself spared from that horror, uh, because a horror is what it was. Oh, oh, this isn't right. That's not right, is it? No, it's not, Emma. You've you've got something wrong again. Yeah, all right. You should be quiet. Just be, just be quiet, please. Just be quiet. I'm sorting it out now. I'm fixing it in real time. Fixing it in real time with Emma Kennedy. She's fixing it. Ho ho! She's fixed it. Yes, I fixed it. Thank you. It's fixed. It's been fixed in actual real time. Um. Jordan. 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 Says I get ASMR from being a passenger while driving at night. One of the first experiences I had of ASMR. Uh, can I have a go on the train, please? When the build is completed, please, Mother Goose. Uh, yes. I imagine that there will be uh, a whole flurry of requests to go on the train as soon as uh, the set is finished. Uh, but yes, as ever, that that you you can start lining up for that for that joy to happen um, as soon as you like. Mm, hang on, please. Oh no, not that. This we bring in a tile. And that goes there. Hmm. I mean, obviously, I think today we're obviously building uh, the structural supports. It's a structural build um, of the guts, the guts of the uh, train station. So it might not be a thrilling build today, but it will be an essential build. Have I got everything right? Yes, I have. Good, good grief. Good actual grief. Um, Sharon Renzoli. Sharon Renzoli. Sharon Renzoli. Sharon Renzoli. Sharon Renzoli. Sharon Renzoli. Yo! The caboose 
I was originally used for railroad crews to relax, snooze when a shift ended on the train. In the States, caboose also means buttocks. On another note, my papa called me putty shoe when I was a youngster, little sprout. Mad about sprouts, eat them like candy. And I'd like Jillian B. to talk about my dream train adventure, the Canadian Rockies train trip. Yeah, ten four. I am, do you know, I am absolutely desperate to go to Canada. Uh, I have never been. Uh, and I would absolutely love to go. I would love to go. But yeah, that sounds absolutely fabulous, the... Uh, the Rockies train trip, that sounds absolutely magic sticks, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so yes, please, Gillian, do tell us. Do tell us about this, if you've done it, or if any of you else of you have done it, please, please tell us about it. I'm all ears, as you know. A Michael Pendlebury, adding to this, I think the use uh, referring to the buttocks came about because the caboose uh, was always at the end of the train, uh, the train's buttocks, as it were. That, that's actually a very good fact. That's, that's very good. I'm going to give you a round of applause for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Tweedle, Mandy, Tweedle, Buzz, Poo, Sue. They are twins and they love poo. Tweedle, Buzz, Poo, Sue. Hello, Mother Goose. Yes, hello. Hello, you. Hello. Firstly, Blumming love sprouts. Oh no, where's this going? <sighs> Don't half get a blow on my back end though after consumption. <laughs> Secondly, absolutely loving this build. It's gorgeous. Love seeing it going round on the track. The music and sound effects were brilliant. Were, weren't they though? It was really good. Should we have another go? Hang on. I, I, I know this isn't this isn't this isn't quite what what we. Uh, oh no, I've got to no. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. I, I might. I'll, I'll do one at the end. I'll, I'll shove one on at the end when I've got everything set up and ready. That's what I'll do. We'll have another go around the track. Maybe I'll put Jordan on. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? Um, I think we're off to the Twitter eyes now. Twitter. Oh no, we start with an adjudication. Here we go, here we go. Adjudication, Mr. Triggs, the Gvar, the official referee of Alex with Picks. Adjudication the antique shop build as noted in the official request book is happening as it is a correctly recorded official request. <coughs> there is no time limit within which this request must be accommodated. Oh, God. Uh, Professor Lago, uh, can somebody remind me please? Is this a set Emma already has in her possession? No, I haven't. No, I haven't got it, Professor Lego. So I would have to purchase it uh, in order to to do it. Uh, so I haven't actually got it, Professor. Oh, here he comes, never ending boring. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair, never ending boring. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair. I've, I've noted that Gary Blair has, has returned to the fold, but he is only at this stage communicating via the medium of GIF, which is absolutely fine. Uh, but he just says, uh, get on with it. You'll just have to wait, Gary Blair. You just have to wait, yeah. Oh, now he's, uh, uh, the never-ending Boinger has said, sent us this, uh, hashtag... Uh, can you guess what it is yet? That looks suspiciously to me like the diner. That looks to me like the diner. Um, I'm just checking. Um, 
Now, Professor Lego, it looks familiar, but I don't remember it ever looking like a severe earthquake had occurred. <laughs> Rosie Lee, hashtag yes. John Perry, do apocalypse diner. Uh, KD Hall says, uh, just says, yes. Bring, 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 bring. Yes, thank you. Oh, there was, there is an apocalypse diner, isn't there? Not that I'm ever getting anything from them ever again. But uh, I shall, I shall enjoy seeing your updates on that, please. Uh, Mr. Gary Blair, the never-ending boinger. He must always be in vision. I can see him just because you can't. I can. There he is. Look up there. Always there. Always there. Watching. Never touching. Um, little Sue. And she's called Little Sue. She's little. She's called Sue. She's little Sue. Hello, it's, it's, it's me. Little, little Sue. No, no, no. Please get... Please get to the back of the queue for the sprout crowd. The, 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 the sprout crustle. Gee whiz, I can't cope with the, the demand. Fooey, fooey, I rushed off. I rushed off my feet. Have you finished? Yes, he hasn't finished. Right, well, what do you want then? Uh, well, Emma. <laughs> I just want to tell you something, and I'm glad you're sitting down. Yes, I am sitting down. <sighs> Emma. Yes? I didn't get a, a dude up with Sabrina. With the camper van. What? It was only thanks to the one from Relax Read Picks that you sent me that I managed to remove pieces that needed removing. That's... that's what I came to tell you that I didn't get a do that books up right on. With the camper van. Please press the button. I, I, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. Having said that, of course, uh, the camper van was my very, very first build. And now I think about it, I wonder if, because it was my very, very first build, that um, I didn't didn't understand what I didn't know anything about doodars back then, Brack Club Rider. I didn't understand what they were, so I wouldn't have noticed um, that it didn't come with a doodar, Brack Club Rider. Crumbs! What a turn of events! Who saw this coming? I didn't. Going on here by the is it? What? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Yes. Okay, thank you. This looks perilous here, doesn't it? This looks perilous. Hang on a minute. Just because that needs to be there. When did that happen? I don't know. Just stick it. Just stick it down. Just stick it down, Kennedy. Just stick it down. That looks about right now. Looks about right or is right, Emma? It's, it's right, it's right. It's, it's right, it's correct. It's correct. Thank you. Ye of little faith. Professor Lego, regarding the number of instruction booklets, I don't know why, but Lego do have history in multiple booklets in their train sets. Each separate unit tends to receive its own booklet, even if it's a small accessory or vehicle. Five slash six booklets is very common here. The passenger train, 60197, from 2018 has five booklets, one of which consists of 23 pages to build a minifig train signal and what I assume is the world's smallest train platform. What? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. The heavy haul train, 60098, from 2016 is made up of six booklets, one of which is a scant 10 pages to show the builder how to create this crossover for vehicles. It seems to be just the way they like to do things in the world of trains that got its own booklet what i 
I don't even I don't even know what to say. Anyway, you you get a round of applause for that, Prof. Thank you. Down, jump, Eri, do It's me, jump, Eri. You haven't done any singing lately, jump. No, there's there's been no requests. Um, mm, does that mean you're sorry, fruity? But um, are you still? By the way, it's very late today. I've had my lunch. Uh, I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to charge this one this this phone here and uh, i've been waiting we we'll had to wait or wait for it to charge right up walked when well, then we went out and walked the dogs and everything so i'm very i'm very late today after wax i'm very i'm very tardy i'm tardy to the lego shed anyway back to john parry do i also adore that green uh it's quite close uh to a racing grader, isn't he? Yes, it is, John Parry. Of course, I used to have a car. I used to have a, um, uh, the, uh, 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 a Mazda, a little Eunice Roadster, which was my, I just loved it, my pride and joy. I absolutely adored it. Um, it was called David Collins. And, uh, that's the car that I almost died in when I hit a puddle on the M20 and rotated three times at 70 miles an hour um, on the motorway. Thank God I didn't hit anybody, but I, I did hit the central reservation and that was quite bad. Um, but anyway, I'm here. That's the main thing. Professor Langow. The colour is earth green, uh, dark green on Bricklink, and there is something pleasing about it. It's the same colour used in the Emerald Night Tray. Warning, do not start desiring this set. It is quite sought after and can easily fetch £600 new. £70 RRP back in 2009. Oh no. Oh crumbs, look at it, it's lovely, isn't it? Who knew I was going to love trains this? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew this? Was, who saw this coming? I didn't. D I, uh, John Barry, I was g going to mention the Emerald Knight, but it pains me to think of it. Oh dear, let's have a... Let, uh, I, feel, I feel we need a sad noise. <coughs> uh, it's m my holy grail Lego set. <coughs> I'll just add that it's Lego's version of the... Like Scotsman. <laughs> so I've, I feel sad for you, John Parry. I do. I, f I feel genuinely sad for you. you it, it feels like you've you had your little heart set on that. Maybe one day. Maybe one day, John Parry. Or just do what I do and get the instruction booklet and then, you know, see if you can sort yourself out. Oh dear. That sounded rude. Oh, there's tiling coming, everybody. Get ready. Um, yes. I just like to say that I'm quite liking the, the colour coordination of the blue and the white canopy on the train with 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 the because because it's like the blue and white canopy on my, on my cafe. Please show people. Yes, correct. I'm glad you pointed at it from the pointer. And not your silly finger. Excuse me, I haven't got a silly finger. But I show people. It's the silliest finger I've ever seen. Put it away. Gee whiz. <coughs> Press the button. Gee whiz. Professor Lego. Well, I may be mistaken. Don't even say it, Prof. There's, there's not a chance. Oh, so sorry. Yes, you see, you were so excited about your silly finger that you didn't pan down no more. Yeah, well, I have panned down now, so panic over. Thank you, little soup. Yeah, press the button. I mean, just every time you... <laughs> Back to Professor Lego, please. Well, I may be mistaken. As I, I will say it again, there's not a chance that you are mistaken. My research indicates 
the closest technic sets have come to including a doodah rucksack driver are some of the programmable sets early mindstorms v1 v2 and more recently the boost creative toolbox 2017 as to why it's probably the lack of system bricks and the sets the small axle on the doodah bricks operator can be useful for separating pans from pieces but the sets also tend to have a number of axle pieces too which also work equally well uh, Kath Pearson says uh, I've never had a uh, doodah brick separator in any of my uh, Technic sex always just used another piece if I'm, ab if I'm able to separate them and I can't recall them from my youth I think I got my first one in the lunar landing module which of course is a creator set mm. prof could you uh, can you do some uh, some research into this matter please um when was the first doodop uh introduced when when did when did it first arrive into the land of lego i thank you sir i think i mean that sort of almost needs that one i know that that's officially the uh, the request for a uh, request for uh, an adjudication maybe we should have this one for the request for Professor Lego to look something up. <laughs> yeah, let's have that. So this is now the, prof the, the official request for a Professor Lego to find something out. Thank you. John Perry do a caboose um, is the opposite uh, of a, a luxury uh, carriage. It's normally attached to freight trains and house the crew. It's also used to shunt uh, the carriages. Uh, hashtag uh, train facts. Yeah, I'll shunt your carriage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all week. Thank you. As Eric has pointed out, uh, this is a presidential carriage for VIPs. Uh, too many spelling mistakes above. I've got a horrible feeling I've missed out a lot of Google eyes today. Mm. I've got a horrible feeling about it. I don't know why, I've just got a horrible feeling. Uh, job, I'm so glad you scrape stickers off. Off. Screen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, why are there three stickers across three bricks? Uh, 626, where, where they could have done... Two stickers across two eight stud bricks is fuming. Uh, my guess, and I could be wrong, is it'll be because six plus two plus six equals two times eight. Do I'm, I'm, I'm not drunk. Actually, I am a bit tipsy. A uh, six and eight w would have worked though. Uh, Emma. Yes. <sighs> oh dear. I mean, I can't believe you were here again. Oh no. Emma, will you please get a piece of paper? Will you please do it? And will you please write vending machine on it and stick it on the wall in front of you? Thank you, in, in anticipation. Hmm. All right, hang on. Hang on, please. Um, hang on, please. Look, this is all, look, 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 this is all, look, this is all the, the old, the old, uh, the old stuff. Right, hang on. Thank you. I mean, that's not tidy. I'll tidy it up now. Do you remember in the, in the old days when I used to have to, um, write out your messages? because I only had one phone. Do you remember? Can you even believe that I did that on every single day? I would hand write out all your tweets into that book. Can you even believe it? Right. Oh no, look what I've done. I mean, it's, it's not ideal. <coughs> Thank 
Okay. Make it. Make it. Make it. Make it. Make it. Request request completed. Thank you. Uh, Tanya Maldress sister, 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 says, and another note on the desk saying, in case of emergency, look at the note that says vending machine. Hang on. Hang on, please. Hang on, please. Where should this go? Where should this go? Just says on the desk. Just says on the desk. Where sh where should we put this? Where sh where does this go? You haven't really told me apart from on the desk. I mean, on the desk it feels like it needs to be down on the desk rather than on the wall. Mm. Oh, I'll just put it. There. I'll just put it there. I'll put it there until you tell me where to put it, uh, Tanya Naldress. Uh, then she says, uh, oh no. Vending machine, she's shouting it. Get little Sue to explain it to you. French for to sell vendre. Yes, that, that is correct because uh, I'm, of course, an expert in all things to do with, 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 with Frenchness, Emma, as, as you know. Emma, actually stop. You've got that wrong. Please, please correct that before we continue with my singing. Please correct it. That's not acceptable to my eyes. Thank you. Yes, all right. Carry on. Kath Pearson, Kath Pearson says, uh, what do dolphins use to wash themselves? Uh, I don't know, Kath Pearson, what do dolphins use uh, to wash themselves? Multi? Porpoise cleaner. <laughs> he can't believe it. He can't. He can't believe it. Yet you, you are to him that sort of what, what, what. What Jimmy Carr is to others. <laughs> um, Ruth Hayes uh, says, Thank you, in the name of Holy Bricks, for surreptitiously pressing the canopy back down during Bev's message. It was driving me stark, staring, bonkers. Sorry. I can only apologise. I can only apologise. But this is a lovely thing is... is is coming up here before our very eyes is it not as we all love a bit of tiling but that's rather nice we enjoyed that I'd l I, would, I would have liked that to have been in in, in a, bit, a bit more color but you know there it is it is a train station I suppose 
Uh, Ruth says, oh, with you on sprouts, Mother Goose. The other night I did a carbonara. <coughs> yes, but what did you eat? <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, with the addition of shredded sprouts briefly fried off in the bacon fat, you dirty, dirty woman. Honestly, it was, and no leftovers, yum, yum, yum. Uh, Tan now dress says, I love sprouts. I flipping love sprouts. Uh, Katie Hall, bring, 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 hello. Relax with bricks. Yes, uh, hello, it's Katie Hall. Oh, hello, Katie Hall. Yes, hello. Um, I'd just like to say um, that sprouts are delicious, not to mention adorable. Hmm. This, this, this gives me something else to think about. Ador adorable, you say? Mm. Mm. Um, I mean, I hate to ask, but I'm going to have to. Have, have you been romantically involved with a sprout, uh, Katie Hall? Um, I, I kind of want to know now. Um, uh, so there it is. Uh, Taylor now says, uh, the train is absolutely gorgeous. I'm no fan of vehicles and trains, but I'd build that very happily. It's lovely to watch and hear going round. Beautiful. Yes, I never thought I would I would enjoy doing a train. And now, look, I absolutely love it. Damn you, Kennedy. Damn. They would need to get th this set. Uh, Neil says, uh, is it the stickers that sold it? Uh, hashtag, I want one of those. I'll take two. Uh, it's a damn fine trade. Uh, Neil agrees. Uh, huh? We've got a new alpha whack. We've got a new alpha whack. Uh, Sarah Louise. Sarah Louise, she's called Biscuit Face. Oh, I'm loving you already. Um, she says, always tempted by this one, but it is so expensive uh, for what it is. Who cares if you think it is expensive? You're a new alpha whack and we welcome you in. We welcome you in, Sarah Louise. We welcome you in. You are very, 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 very welcome. Uh, welcome, Sarah, says John Parry, and Sarah Louise says, hello. Oh, you, you, can, you, you can have a triple. You can have a triple for joining in. Oh, this is what we love. Uh, Afawax, all go in and send uh, Sarah some, some Afawax love. Uh, how lovely. How lovely. Um, twit twit, Howlin says, assuming I didn't miss some blinding revelatory flash later on in today's film, it's a vanding machine. Yes, I know now. But yes, the first time I tried to type that, I ended up with bending machine. Perhaps that's what the German makers of the track used. Thank you. Uh, that train definitely needs a plume of cotton wool coming out the chimney when it's chugging around the track, especially with the sound effects added. Yes, um, I do believe that, Be that Bevis, Bevis did a rather brilliant uh, plume of a cloud coming out of the top of, of his... Uh, chimney mm. um, I don't know where Be Be Bevis has vanished Be Bevis has gone off somewhere so we'll, we'll just have to wait for him to come back if, if, if you are watching Bevis please could you repost the picture of the, the cloud you made coming out of your train and I'll see if I can replicate it thank you Twiddle Mandy says oh brilliant it's time for oh brilliant the second round of hashtag Tweedle Mandy, uh, Tweedle Vars Poo Sue, the they are twins, can you guess who's who? Oh, I love that. Tweedle Mandy, Tweedle Vars Poo Sue, they are twins, can you guess who's who? Thank you for the excellent hashtag, uh, Tobermory Jake. My firmly name is Tobermory Jake. He got the wrong email. So which Tweedle looks like a Smurf and which Tweedle is looking pleadingly at mum and dad and desperately wants to get out of the pram? Oh my good God. Oh my God. Are you ready? Here it comes. Tweedle, Mandy, Tweedle, Vos, Poo, Sue. They are twins, but who is who? Right, who is who? I think, I think this time, I think this is Mandy. I think this is Vaz Pusu. I mean, will you look at this for a, will, will you just look at this for a situation? Oh my, look at them, look at them. Will you actually look at them? I mean, I couldn't adore you more. 
this one clearly is the naughtier. Look, I mean, look at this. Look, this is this this is somebody who's about to give a uh, a PowerPoint, a PowerPoint talk, uh, at a very important meeting. This one is just here for the biscuits. That that's Vaz Pusu. That's Mandy. That's that's my guess. That's my guess. Thank you. Um, Bev says, I'd say, as you're looking at the photo, that Tweedle Mandy's on the right and Tweedle Sue is on the left. That's what I'm going for. Uh, Ruth Hayes, Sue on the left, Mandy on the right. We're all going Sue on the left, Mandy on the right. That's, that's, our, that's our feeling here. Uh, Sherry Real, so I do. A dispenser. I mean, obviously, again, no idea what you're talking about. I don't remember one thing from one day to the next. Uh, Mike Tobermory, Jake. He got the wrong email. Look at this lovely colour. This look, we're going. This is very reminiscent of the uh, the Ghostbusters firehouse, isn't it? All of a sudden, absolutely delicious. Um, oh, I see. Uh, he says, in teeny tiny sticker-related news, just wondering. If you've ever used the doodah brush up rider to place the stickers, I find it massively useful as it gives you more leverage slash space to see what you're doing. This pic was taken from Sir Justin Ramsden. Ah, ah, Justin Ramsden. Back in 2018, brush up rider. <gasps> Look. Oh, that's a method, isn't it? That's a method. Thank you, madam. Uh, John Perry. No, I concur. It's very useful for small or thin stickers. If I ever have to redo a sticker, it's been a while. Rude. I would use a, a sharp knife so as not to damage the sticker. I would never peel it off with a nail. Mm, that's what I do. Thank you. Uh, Bev Bratton says, uh, started using the Doodle Brooks up right for stickers a while uh, ago. Total game changer. Oh, I'm going to have to have a go at this now. Uh, Mike Tobemori, Jake, uh, from, formerly known as Tobemori, Jake, he got, he got the wrong email. This is absolute godsend, isn't it? Bev couldn't have coped with Diagon Alley without using the Doodle Brooks up right for the millions of stickers. Twit Twoo Allen, so, so John, you're, you'd use a metal knife to separate a sticker from a brick. Does Professor Lego make us feel dumb know about this? Uh, no, a craft knife could get under the sticker without scratching the toil. Uh, don't worry, sir, oh, I'm a pro. Uh, <laughs> Phew, and relax with bricks. As I was saying, it's been a while since I've messed up a sticker placement. <laughs> So utterly pleased with himself. Uh, Eric Oswald says the caboose used to always be on the end of every freight train in America. It's where the train crew slept and could also watch the back of the train. We have a picture. Thank you. Here's a peek of the inside of the Lily Bell Parlor Car, run only once a day on the Disneyland Railroad. <gasps> That's quite accurate then, isn't it? They've done very well with recreating that. That's super. Emma, you may have missed the pictures of me in the Golden Mickey ears. I posted them in reply to little Sue's request. Yes, I, I have missed them. Where are they? I still can't see them. Uh, I, I, uh, I wonder if, if they were posted too late for filming. I, I think that Emma generally films between about 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. UK time. Yes, that is correct. It's sort of been around 10 o'clock during winter, but normally it's much earlier than that during summer. Uh, that does conclude uh, club business. Thank you. How are you doing for time? Mm, all right. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I was toying with whether or not to do another bag, but we're almost at 40 minutes. And uh, you know what happens when I start another bag. 
Well, I'll see what how big the other bag is, and then and then I'll make my mind up. Because this might be quite quick. This. Do 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 Yep. Wrong way around. It really is the Ghostbusters firehouse, isn't it? Colours. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, do you remember that lovely line of green and white that ran through the interior? Oh, it was dreamy, wasn't it? Absolute dream sticks. If you're wondering what that noise is, for those of you who may not know. And that, that is uh, the end of bag eight. Hang on a minute, please. Right, I, I had a look at bag nine and I think there's a little bit too much for us to carry on today. Uh, so without further ado, uh, you'll note, Jordan, you are sitting on the uh, top, but uh, without further ado, uh, let's go. be loving that more. <laughs> love it. I uh, love it. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you would like to have a go on the uh, on the train and obviously let me know. Uh, but <laughs> we'll leave it there for today. Uh, Alpha Wax Forever. Bye bye.